and welcome back to Slice of Life. I'm Rachel and this is a spaghetti squash. Today we're going to be making a red sauce to go with it and I'm going to be showing you how you can make it vegan or not so vegan. So let's get started. We're going to continue to simmer low and slow, removing liquid from our tomato sauce. If your tomatoes aren't popping, you can smash them with the back of the spatula. It's very satisfying, I promise. Once everybody in the pan has popped, we're gonna throw in some garlic. Let's take a look at how to break down a spaghetti squash. I like cutting off one end to give me a flat base to stand it up on, and then I cut it in half. Using a spoon, scoop out all the seeds and soft stuff inside, just like a pumpkin. You want to hit your squash with a little drizzle of olive oil. This will keep it from sticking to the pan, and it'll also make it so the salt and pepper sticks to it. You always want to season things independently, so they taste good on their own and together. Flip them over so they insulate heat and let's get them into the oven. Now this is just a really broad estimate as to how long it's going to take your squash to cook. Some are bigger, some are smaller. You never really know what you're going to get, but I'll show you the real trick when we pull these out on how to tell when your squash is done. Now for anybody making this dish vegan, please ignore the pan in the background. That's just some leftover pot roast that I'm going to add into mine, but you absolutely don't have to. Let's talk basil. You want to lay your leaves flat and roll them into a tight little bundle. Then you're going to slice fine sections of this perpendicular to the roll. This is called a chiffonade. You can use it with any flat leafy vegetable or herb and it looks beautiful on top of your food. Not to mention it tastes great. I gauge when my sauce is done by drawing a line in the bottom of the pan. If it stays that way, we're ready. To all my vegans out there, you're done and ready to go. I would garnish this with some nutritional yeast, maybe a little bit more cracked pepper, and serve it up. I, however, am not vegan, so I'm gonna be adding in some leftover pot roast that I made. If you have any leftover meat at home, it's a welcome addition to this, or you could even cook off some ground beef to throw in here. best tips I can give you on spaghetti squash are don't microwave it and if you press it with the back of a spatula and it starts to give way that means that it's ready. These are very hot and will continue to cook as long as they're face down on the sheet tray so we're going to flip these over and let them cool off for a second before we start working on them. I'm going to take a fork and gently start pulling out the sides of the squash. As you can see, it's nature's spaghetti. It just automatically comes like that. It's pretty cool and it tastes great. I plated and finished this with fresh shaved Parmesan and a little bit of black pepper. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe for more cooking videos.